this is actually the day after my birthday. I've been a bit as yesterday, but um, today I'm gonna show you what I got on my birthday. I announced this video in the previous video I did. So I didn't get that much stuff. I only got a few, but still, I don't really care. Now, anyways, the first thing I got was. I got a Mario plush. I do have another Mario plush used when I did my own SML videos. SML now use um, their own characters. I don't use the Mario um, characters anymore because Nintendo tried to sue them one time. Anyways, I still use the Mario characters because it's just my own version of the show. I haven't done an SML video for a long time and I still need to get a black Yoshi plush. Oh well. I like this Mario, even though his nose is a bit strange. And yes, you just saw a little bit of behind the scenes. I'm trying to move the camera away. Anyways, this is a very, very, very nice Mario plush. It's a real McCoy one. From Smith's Toys. At Team Valley. This is where he came from. So he can just sit over there in the meantime while we go over the rest of the stuff. I managed to get a Lego bus, a Lego creator one. This is extremely nice. I got this off that very awesome YouTuber, um, Punky Stuff, who is currently on holiday. I was actually kind of hoping for a Gun or Feast one. Oh, I'm not bothered though. This is better than nothing. If Lego did do any going off these models, like the real ones, like the X Lines one, they, there was a City Link one at some time. Uh, anyways, um, I put it together myself, and that's another reason why I've been busy. I was busy building this yesterday. It's a very, very lovely model. I had to take these bricks off to put the stickers on individually because I didn't want to ruin them. Because I would be absolutely upset if I ruined the stickers. Anyways. Anyways, so... This vehicle can just sit next to Mario. And now the rest of the stuff I'm about to show are Thomas and Friends ones. So here come my Thomas and Friends stuff that I got on my birthday. We're going to start off the Thomas ones with a Play Rail model in the form of Neville. One of the most bland characters in the show. But did that stop me from buying him? No. I like the Play Rail model for Neville from 2006. And he even has the same style wheels as Dennis. My camera is literally not focusing. There we go. Just like Dennis's wheels. And also I gave him some new tires. And he still works. The one thing I didn't notice when I when I got him was his buffer was cracked. And also for Neville's face, if I just zoom get the camera to focus. Come on, focus on Neville. There we go. As you can see, if I just zoom in. I had to put pen on his eyebrows. Because one of them was scratched up a little bit. So I just did that just to make Neville look like a new engine again. Oh wait, his number scratched up. I didn't even notice. I'm not gonna, probably not going to fix that, but I might. You never know. Here is his tender. The tender is 100% accurate. I've rarely modded Neville. He's one of the most fully accurate characters in the show. 
and for play rail. Oh, and here is a black caboose. I have another one of these. So there's not much to say about it, really. So, now that we've got Neville covered, we're going to move on to a really good character, Billy. I love Billy. Sark! Yeah, Billy is annoying. Still, even though he's stupid, did, did it stop me from getting him? No. Who cares? I mean, they never brought him back anyway, so it doesn't matter. I've just uncoupled Billy from his rolling stock. And now we're going to have a look at the basis of his model, because I did modify him. Sorry about that, I was getting annoyed. Anyways, I gave Billy a white running board, just like in Don't Be Silly Billy. His sticker was a bit ripped here, so I had to um, try and fix it up. He was made in 2008 by Hit Toy Company. And he still works. So basically, the only major thing I had to do to Billy was give him a white running board. And here we got one of the most unique pieces of rolling stock ever. A Farmer McCall's Farm chicken van. Just like in the episode, I think. These can come off, which is quite interesting. I think Billy had a, a few of these in the episode. It's been a long time since I've seen Don't Be Silly Billy. Again, this is made by Hit Toy Company. I might get another one. Because, you know because of the episode and also we've got another caboose but this one is green this is the first time I've ever had a green caboose come through before it's basically just the same old as Neville's but with a different color that's kind of unique because it's the first green one I've owned now on to a one that I've been trying to get for a very long time. Paint Splattered Thomas. And as you can clearly see, I have modified him. What I did was, I just took him, out, took him apart and I gave him white on the running board. And I decided to add some extra paint just to make him look accurate, in, like in calling all engines. I gave him some green because it only had the red and yellow. I just touched up the face a little bit. You want to know how I did that? As you can see, there's a red mark on his face. I know the camera's not focusing, but it's noticeable. And also, I made sure that some of the paint was run down to Thomas's running board to make it even more accurate. We got a, like an orangey splosh here as well. This is also accurate. And I gave him the undercarriage detail. He's made by Hit Toy Company. And I kind of like mixed a couple of colours here at the top. To make an orangey colour as like they're, if they're mixed for where the coal bunker is. I took the sticker off and I only put the lamp on and I glued the lamp back on. And I added some extra paint here. There's even some on his buffer. And I added a cleaner coupling. Because the original coupling was a little bit dirty. I gave him the cab window design. And he still works. And I gave him some cleaner wheels. And also there's a green stain on his side rod. 
Unfortunately, he didn't come with his troublesome trucks or paint. That like the paint things that you put in the trucks, but that doesn't bother me. I'm just glad to have this. I've got another good character to show you. It's my favorite character, Charlie. Psych. I think you knew I was going to say that. Yeah, Charlie is annoying. But that didn't stop me from getting the Trackmaster Charlie and Playtime Greatest Moments pack. So let's take a look at this pack. So, taking a look at Charlie, I modified him. Some of the spots on him I had to um, put... Tip X over just to give it that extra detail. I based it on the nitrogen, the nitrogen era Charlie. You can tell I based it on the nitrogen era because where the cab windows are that I custom did, I put a line next to the window up there. That was mainly seen in the nitrogen era, the season 13 to 16. Because if you've seen, um, the episode, um, um, not now, Charlie, Charlie doesn't have this detail, and yes, you just saw my reflection, I'm currently not wearing my top at the minute, don't worry guys, I do have shorts, now, as you can see, I put some black on the top of the boxes to make it accurate, And I even put some more white on the back, like in that one shot in Not Now Charlie. Because I couldn't get some off, I put some purple pen on the back. And Charlie still works. And the original owner had painted the coupling. That, that was good. Sorry about that, I kind of had to sneeze. Here is Charlie's first piece of rolling stock. It's a blue truck. With the carpet. As seen in the episode Playtime. This is just a stock standard blue truck. Which is okay. I will admit, it's definitely okay. It's lovely, it's epic. It says Mattel underneath, this pack is from 2010. It reminds me of the Blue Mountain Quarry trucks. Probably because of the colour and the shape. And we've also got an ice cream bolster wagon. And yes, like tons of Trackmaster said, it's unrealistic, but I, I've always liked it for some reason. I think it's because of the ice cream. I've always liked that colour ice cream. It just makes me want to eat ice cream. It really makes me hungry for some reason. And yes, you did say myself, I'm still not wearing my top. And yes, I'm a boy. I don't really want to talk about my life, though. I might do something like that in the future, but and I might not. Anyways, um, that's the um, Charlie and Playtime pack, which is lovely. I really don't like the mirror on the wall. Good thing it's getting taken down soon. And lastly, we I got the brand new... Push along, all engines go Henry. I did modify him a little bit, it's not, I didn't fully mod him yet, but I'm working on it. As you can see, I gave him the whistle detail, and like my Gordon, I gave him a white running board, and coloured in the buffers. The only things I have to do is see if he has a back lamp on his tender, and mod his wheels. 
because I don't have any spare Percy's, I'm going to have to um, mod the wheels. It was easier for Gordon, but for Henry, it's going to be trickier. Oh, well. So that's basically all of my birthday presents. So don't forget to um, like and subscribe for more videos in the future. See ya!